Hi, this is Pat Welsh with Keller Williams Memorial, the Legacy Team. And I'm here to talk for a brief few minutes today about mortgage loans and the mortgage process as it applies to residential real estate. So uh, I, I get questions from clients all the time, and, and uh, these are kind of the, a recap of some of the things that seem to be important to people. The first thing that almost always comes up when I work with a buyer is they want to they want to move on toward a house and they want to get a pre-approval letter from a lender. That's easy to get and it, it really doesn't mean a whole lot. A lender produces a, a pre-approval letter after they run credit on a buyer. <clears throat> but running credit is not the full underwriting process. So it really is an early stage approval. It says they've got pretty good credit, but it's always conditional upon uh, running their uh, employment history, verification of employment, and a variety of other things of that nature. Uh, so picking the lender for pre-approval is, is only the first stage process. You may get a pre-approval from one lender and ultimately close with another. It's not a commitment. Uh, the second thing is, how do I pick a lender? Um, we've got a lot of choices out there. Even if you got a pre-approval already, that's not the final selection. You want to... Uh, uh, I hope pick a lender that you've met, that you've sat across the table or desk from and gotten to know a little bit. Maybe you already know somebody at the, a bank or credit union or something like that that you can talk to uh, to get directed. Don't pick your lender off of the internet. That's, that's really a poor choice. You get a really good looking numbers to start with, but not a lot of times they don't stand behind uh, the, the initial uh, date of a, a low interest rate. Uh, they're locked up with fees and a lot of other things that make the loan less desirable. So I think a personal touch from a lender is, a, is the best way to go. Um, how do you compare one loan to another? Because there are a lot of variables. Well, the, the government has put together what they call a good faith estimate um, criteria set that all lenders have to to uh, adhere to so that you can actually compare loans one to another. It takes into account not only the interest rate but all the fees across the entire life of the loan so that you really can get an apples to apples comparison of one loan to another. So when you when you get into a serious discussion with the lender ask them to produce a, a good faith estimate. And while you're at it ask them to send that GFE to your agent because uh, a lot of times the the, the borrower doesn't understand how to read it, when you send it to your agent, it certainly clues in the lender that somebody that is experienced in looking at these things is going to take into account what their offer is. Um, I think we, we touched on, on the fact that service is important. We have in-house lenders here at, at, uh, at Keller Williams Memorial. I have a personal lender list that I provide to clients if they need some guidance. I have my lenders listed on the, on the internet on my website so that somebody can go in there and find all of the available lenders that I that I recommend. Uh, but, but this is really important because you want somebody local that you can deal with, that you can become familiar with. Uh, our in-house lender goes to the closings. A lot of my lenders do go to closings. Most lenders do not. You want them there so that there's a question, a concern. Um, you can ask them uh, directly across the table for some assistance. Um, there are a lot of stages to a loan. We talked uh, in the beginning about the good, uh, the uh, pre-approval letter. That's not an underwritten loan. Underwriting usually happens at the end, shortly before closing, where the lender goes, has the uh, the borrower put through fairly tight scrutiny to make sure that they qualify and that they're a good risk for a loan. So that uh, that fun, final underwriting is where we come up. Where, where the lender comes up with conditions, where they want to see a, an old tax form, or they want some other um, proof of, uh, of income or so forth. Uh, I always tell my clients that these, these last minute things from a lender is not cause to panic. It happens all the time. Just get them what they've asked for, provide it promptly, and uh, we can move on toward closing. Once in a while, there's a, a real problem, but most of the time they just need to get um, some conditions satisfied to move on with the loan. Uh, closing and funding. You want the the real estate contract calls for a specific closing date. 
And we don't want to mess around with that. We want to close on the specific date or before that's specified. When you get beyond that date, then, then things come into jeopardy for the buyer. And uh, um, if you don't close, you, your earnest money could be at risk. So there are, are uh, reasons that you want to work with the lender and you want a good lender that will close it on time. Um, uh, lastly, uh, well, a couple things, I guess. When you close the transaction, not all loans fund at the closing table. So sometimes you don't get the keys for the property until a day or two later. Our lenders, the ones that I recommend, almost always can accommodate table funding um, and, and get you the keys right away. And that's really what we'd all prefer. But uh, again, working with the lender and asking those kind of questions, can you get a table funder, is an important part. Uh, lastly, I, I guess you want to uh, recognize that many lenders sell their loans almost immediately. So all of the terms uh, of your loan will stay with the loan forever. They can't change the terms. Uh, your costs will be the same. But sometimes the servicing party changes from one bank to another or one, one mortgage company to another entity. So be prepared for that. Don't worry about it. Um, it's all going to be the same for you. It's just a matter of where it gets mailed to ultimately. Uh, these are just a couple things of the very, very many points in a real estate transaction around loans. Uh, your best resource for information is your real estate agent who's been through this over and over again that understands the process and can help uh, keep you in a comfort zone as much as possible and get the deal done. So this is Pat Welsh, Keller Williams Memorial, the Legacy Team. If I can help you, I'd be pleased to uh, take your call. Call me at your convenience. Thank you very much. Bye.